Hey guys, this is uh, Brent from the Green Belt behind my house here. Set a thought for you today from our message today that Jim shared, and it was just really encouraging to hear his word on faith. Um, and he said something that I thought was really profound, which was that faith is the currency of our relationship with God. And at first, you know, I kind of, I didn't, that, that phrase was a little grating on me, to be honest, because I thought currency is such a transactional, it's such a transactional concept, right? Like I give God faith and he gives me something in return. And as I was wrestling that, I was kind of thinking, you know, scripture in many ways supports that notion. And this is just a metaphor, right? But it kind of helps us understand what our relationship with God is built on. And I don't think Jim was saying um, that we, we trade in faith, like we can score faith points and then redeem them for certain like favors from God. That's not it. What he was saying that our relationship with God is really built on and substantiated by our faith in him. And that without faith, we are incapable of developing a healthy relationship with God. Our dependency on God is crippled by our lack of faith. If you have no faith in God, you have no need for God. And therefore you really miss the whole center of what the gospel is all about and our relationship with God, what it's supposed to be like. So in a matter of just moments, I became a little more comfortable with the notion of faith as being the currency of my relationship with God. And then I started asking the kind of logical next question, which is, how do I increase my faith? How do I build that up? If this is true, then how do I increase that? And I, I was kind of drawn to a passage in Romans that says simply this. This is Romans chapter 10, and I'd encourage you to read the whole chapter to take this verse in its proper context. But um, Paul writes to the Christians in Rome, consequently, faith comes by hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. When we talk about building up our faith, increasing our currency, that which substantiates and increases and deepens our relationship with God, it comes through hearing the word about Christ. See, this always brings us back to the gospel, which is the good news that Jesus came and made a way for our broken relationship with God to be made right again. And if you want to deepen your faith with God, it is by hearing the word, the message of Jesus Christ. And where do we do that? Man, read your Bible. That's, that's the takeaway, right? If you want to increase your faith, continue to read the word and particularly continue to read about the gospel, the good news of Jesus. Now, if you are familiar with the Bible or you grew up in the church at all, you know that the whole Old Testament is just this huge lead up to the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the books right in the middle. And that after those, not in the middle, like almost towards the end, right? We have so much Old Testament and so little New Testament. You read about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There's the life of Christ. And then after that, you read about the acts of the church and the the disciples and the missionaries who went out and told people about Christ and, and the apostles who continue to preach and teach about the things Jesus taught. Jesus is the hinge upon which the Old Testament and New Testament are connected. And he is the connector between us and God. He made a way for us to have a relationship with God. You want to improve your relationship with God. You want to deepen your relationship with God. You want to even just explore your relationship with God. Focus on Jesus by hearing the word taught about him, by reading the Bible. So that's it. That's just a thought I had today. What is faith? Is it our currency with God? Yes. How can we increase our currency? How can we make some deposits into our bank account? Read the word, read about Jesus. The whole Old Testament leads up to him. The whole New Testament is about him. It's just a great way to go. So some thoughts for you guys today from the green belt behind my house. Hope you're doing well and we'll talk to you again real soon.